Two more matches. Okay. Three, two, one. No! Oh no, this is bad. I want to want to take that turbo, but I drifted. Nice, another nitro. Nitro can go through that thing. That's fair. I don't have to worry about those slowing me down. Oh no, oh no, oh no, 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 no. I don't mean to do that. Still not first lap. Um, why? Okay. Two laps to go. He's right behind me. I don't pick it up again. Okay, that's fine. I can destroy her. Never mind, she got stuck as well. Dodge the rocket. Not a nitro. Okay, that's the second lap, and let's do the final lap as well. Now it worked out. Now I gotta take rings. As many as I can to heal up that damage. I should be fine. Just few more turns and we are done. Fly. Fly. Ouch. Can I crash into him? No. First. There we go. That's round two. Round three to go. Five points ahead. Oh, four points. Okay. So what's the final map? One thousand meters. Three, two, one, go! Oh, he's fast. But I'm faster. Especially with this. Quality drifts. Ouch. That's fine, I, I have a really good acceleration. Just dodge these. Oh, Nitro. It's better to take it, since I can use it on this turn.
I don't need to drift here. Nice. That's the first lap. Two laps to go. Let's put the oil now. This this lap. Put the oil in this small corner. Right here. And the second one right here. Yep, they crashed. That's good. I can grab the nitro here. And I'll try to grab the booster as well. That worked out nicely. Okay, this was really good. Just basically let me have two boosters. And the final lap. Should have gone for the nitro. It was bad, but I still survived that better than I thought, so that's good. Again, let's try to get both. Couldn't do that. So let's get this booster. Now turn. Get this booster. Turn. And I should be close to winning. Just dodge the guy behind me if I can. No! Quickly! Alright, GG. Ichiban Kasuga, 24 points. Okay. I won. Congratulations, Phoenix Cup champion. All right. I swept the Grand Prix like it was nothing. You really did great out there. It's rare to see a rookie climb the ranks so easily. You've got something special going on. <laughs> uh, you think? I sure don't mind the compliments. Anyway, the Dragon Cup's next, alright? Once I win that, I'll be the king of the cards. Mm. Mm, the Dragon Cup is the highest ranking race there is. It might still be too early for you, Kasuga san. Mm? Yeah? Why is that? I'm saying if you had a little more racing experience, I would be more confident in your success. Mm. I can dig that. What kind of experience were you thinking of? I won all the tournaments I can. There should be many high-level rivals out there. Challenging the competition and striving from the top is also a valuable experience. Wow. I get it. So now I gotta beat all my rivals. Racing alongside talented people can teach you a lot. Both about their technique and your own. I highly recommend it. Yeah, you have a point there. And you don't forget to upgrade your machine. It's an investment, but just like anything else, you won't get out what you don't put in. Got it. Got that, right? Alright, bye. <laughs> if the Dragon Cup's really that tough, I'll just have to be tougher. Simple as that. Yeah, good point. Okay, can I do the next one? Hello, Kiska, how does big part in Dragon Card? Alright, show me some speed. Uh, can I just... There's just these four. I don't see any more of these racing places. Let's just go for the... Oh, I can't. Where are the drift m musketeers? Where do I get them? Exit shop. Okay. Fine. Yeah. Um... Right. So where would they be? Mm. Well, I guess let's just do a normal mission for now. Can always complete that later. No, 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 no. This area. Okay. Oh. It's time. 
while the crime lords cackle with glee. Virtuous law-abiding citizens are cowering in fear. What's become of our once great nation? When did morality become the butt of the joke? I alone can deliver this country back into the hands of her upstanding citizenry. Okay. I am Sota Kume, and a vote for me is a vote for change. Damn. After all we've been through, I'm actually starting to agree with the guy. Come on, what he's saying is a load of crap. No matter how drunk everyone is on Bleach Japan Jungle Juice, that kind of drunk can mess you up as bad as my kind. Tragic way, Kume is just another name on Aoki's long list of victims. Hmm. Our enemies don't deserve our sympathy. Good point. Let's get him. Hey, mind letting us through? Excuse us. Hey, you can't just barge in here. Oh, sorry, sir. Could you just let us... Wait. Don't I know you? Yeah, you were a bodyguard in the parking lot. He's not the only guy we've seen before. There's a bunch of Omi here. Ooh, scary. Well, look at that. This saved me the trouble of tracking you down. Time to pay for that shit you pulled in the parking lot. Okay, I'll fight. So I did learn a f few more quests. Uh, quest uh, skills. Heavily damage all enemies with complicated fire maneuvers. Let's try this skill. A sense of trick shots. Doom, doom, doom. They just shoot everyone. He doesn't even care. One after another, just all dead. We're done. Yeah. Ooh, not very strong. You're in it now. You're gonna get stuck. Okay, essence of ladder acrobatics, another skill. Attacks all enemies as well. So he has a ladder. Ooh. Nice. And this one deals a lot of damage. Ooh, scary. Um, maybe because his weapon is upgraded so much. It's plus 3 EX. <laughs> Thought you could interfere, did you? Well, not today. I doubt this was the only speech Kume's giving today. Where's he going right now? His campaign stops and stuff are listed on his website. The more people, the better. But I can promise, you ain't getting close to Kume. Will he not talk to regular people? No. But don't worry, he's gonna win. Governor's orders. All y'all's been blacklisted as threats. You better get ready for the takeover. Ooh. Okay. Is that all on me? Everywhere? In plain sight? Just watching us? Mm -hmm. More Omi boys than I could count are rolling on over here to Injincho. Whole place will be swarmed. You won't be able to take a shit without us knowing. Fuckers! Aoki's always one step ahead of us. <laughs> I certainly am. I realize there's no precedent for a governor to intervene in national politics. But there's never been a precedent any time we advanced as a society. What about your critics who say you're just too young? That national politics is no place for schoolyard debates. <laughs> 
Are they implying local politics is some kind of playground? No, I don't think they're saying that. How about we take another look at the survey results? 80% 80% of respondents said they support Governor Aoki assuming the role of party chair. The principal reason for their support was the success of the Kamrocho 3K plan. Do you have any comments about that Aoki-san? I couldn't have achieved the amazing results of the 3K plan without the Tokyo Metropolitan Police. That was how cooperation between law enforcement and local government should look. What about the Yakuza still in Kamurocho after the Tojo clan's collapse? There are rumors that a delegation of Kansai Yakuza have filled the void. By Kansai Yakuza, do you mean the Omi Alliance? Because I recently heard that they are officially dissolved. Yes, that is confirmed. But doesn't that in fact prove something else? Doesn't it prove we can reduce Yakuza activity without a risky policy like the Kamurocho 3K plan? It's not a risky policy. Not compared to the risks of letting Yakuza run free. I'm sure you've also heard that Masumi Arakawa, an officer who spearheaded the dissolution, was murdered. So you see, it may seem like this was a peaceful process, but I think it was anything but. As always, the underworld keeps hidden its dark, unseemly truth. On the other hand, the Kamurucho 3K plan didn't involve any murder at all. My plan was the perfect example of a peaceful process, accomplished with my expertise from Bleach Japan. Speaking of which, the Citizens Liberal Party is endorsing quite a number of Bleach Japan candidates this cycle. As party chair, what are your priorities? I want to rejuvenate the Citizens Liberal Party. The Bleach Japan candidates are young and brimming with energy. By harnessing that energy, I know we can bleach all the gray zones in this entire nation. You are a gray zone. This bastard's using Arakawa's death to win an election after all but pulling the trigger himself. Oh, it's disgusting. Just when I thought I couldn't hate politicians anymore, he gives me a reason. Guys, remember the mission. Kume's going to give another speech somewhere, so what do we do? Well, judging by how it went down here, we won't be able to lay a finger on him. Sounds like you're in a tight spot. Oh, there he is. Chairman? So, you figured your best path to Aoki was just to scare the shit out of Kume? <laughs> Guilty as charged. But they're always one step ahead of us. Anyway, what are you doing here? I forgot to give you something back at Heian Tower. Huh? What is it? Can't think of what that be. What is it? Kazuga, did you already forget the task you entrusted to me? The task I... Oh, finding a candidate. Yes. Remember the Why is he giving me back the three million? Money to make Kume lose? Yeah, did you find someone? Someone who can win? Well, I searched far and wide. But you didn't find anyone. But then, all of a sudden, it hit me. Yeah? Lay it on me. Kasuga, you should run. What? I only wish I'd thought of it earlier. Wait just a second, back it up. Why the hell should it be me? I don't have a snowball's chance in hell of winning this. True. I doubt you'd even get enough votes to qualify for the return of your registration deposit. So why would you want to flush three million down the drain? Now well, the money doesn't matter. It does to me. Three million yen is a deal if it gives us a chance to catch Kume. I'm not really following, Chairman. In every election, the candidates drive around in their trucks giving speeches. The district's not that big, so they frequently run into each other. And when they do, it's customary for them to wish each other luck and shake hands. It's a farce, of course, but it's custom. That's your chance to get close to them. So if I run in the election, 
I can walk right up to Kume. Compared to Kume, you'd be a nobody. What they call a fringe candidate. Since Kume's victory is assured, he'll be expected to be a good sport. That includes not turning you down for a handshake if you ask for one. He can't just say no? If he did, everyone would say he acted like an arrogant jerk to the underdog. Bad press spreads quickly. Public opinion changes with the wind. You see how perfect it is? This is how you corner Kume. See, your original plan was to make Kume lose. But now the plan is just to use him as a stepping stone, correct? Uh, aren't you guys forgetting something? Ichiban did hard time. For murder. It doesn't matter what's on your record. Once you've served your term, you can run. What do you say, Kasuga? So I'm gonna be running an election. I wish I could tell you that to take your fun. time and think it over, but time is a luxury you don't have. The deadline to announce your candidacy is today. You have to decide right now. Then I'll do it. I'll Seriously? do it. Just because it's legal doesn't mean it's sane, but then hurry to the election office and get your paperwork done. It's the government, so naturally they close pretty early. Wait, what time is it? Holy shit, guys, we gotta hurry. Let's run. Let's run. Where's the election office anyway? In the Nishihama building on Carriage Highway. Thanks! Nishihama building on Carriage Highway, sure. That's good. Uh, let's use a smartphone, taxi. This is the best place to start. Closest one, at least. And let's look for more taxi places. You know, a long time ago, this road was used primarily by men on horseback. You might have even seen some of those fancy white horses. Oh yeah. Think there might have been a Prince Charming up on one of those? Eh, a bunch of fairy tale nonsense, if you ask me. Then and now. Wow, you must be really fun at parties. Nah, I bet they're around even now. At princes, I mean. Huh? A prince on a white horse in modern times would be like, I, I, I guess it'd be like a like a handsome dude rolling through in a fancy foreign car. Slap Jun Gi Han in a nice car. Instant prince. You have literally no filter, do you? Oh, now, now hold on. I, I don't believe I'm entirely fit to play a prince. I don't hear you denying the handsome part. Okay, let's talk to him. You're Kasuga's son, the company president, correct? This is just between us, but I know a fantastic investment opportunity that might interest you. Sure, haha, <laughs> go and think about it. I don't want to miss out on this. New investment? Sure, I can... Pr I can... Review back in the office. I don't really care, but I can. Oh, Dojo Clan Crest. And there's another safe someone place, but I don't really want to do those. Uh, I was just looking for a taxi, but I don't see any here. No taxi, really? No single one? Oh, maybe this one? Okay. I did unlock a new spot, so that's nice. Government office. Taxi, please. Three million yen. No. <sighs> oh, that was exhausting. If I have to sign one more form, I swear. Never imagined there could be that money. Well, of course. I aren't exactly running for Stardom Council. I'm just glad we made it in time. Hey. Did you see that guy's face? He was about to snap. <laughs> well, nobody likes a last minute arrival, but it worked out, thankfully. Don't act like it's over. The paperwork's just the beginning. Tomorrow we hit the campaign trail. But I'm only running to get close to Kume. I don't actually have to do campaign, do I? Not gonna happen. You do, actually. If Kume and the rest of society don't recognize you as a candidate, the plan will fall apart. Bah, she's right. 
How am I supposed to even campaign though? I don't have the election van or even a megaphone. Well, then you better get it figured out. I'm with Sachan. You gotta take this seriously. Uh, we'll figure it out tomorrow. <sighs> yeah. Good point. Oh. They already know. Right? Well, let's go back to the survive bar by taking a taxi, of course. Which is the best way to do it, since I don't have to run across the whole city. This way. Back to the survive bar. What is this? Kuma <sighs> must be kicking his campaign up a notch. Guess they already found out I'm running. Saves me the trouble of having a campaign strategy. You think this is a good thing? Now the whole stone's gonna know about your criminal record. Don't worry about it, man. I wasn't planning on hiding the truth anyway. Ooh. <laughs> ah, I see that they already have you in their sights. <laughs> akabe -san. Our chairman would like to have you something. Chairman Hoshino? What would that be? This beauty. It's an old car we were using to sell things out of, but you can use it as your election van. Huh? For real? We even gave it a microphone and a loudspeaker. We dug out we dug those out uh, of one of our strip club's warehouses. This should give you at least the bare minimum of legitimacy. Kuma can't run from you now. Thank you. Appreciate it, man. <laughs> now we're talking. Take care. Well done. Shall we pay Kuma a visit? He's scheduled to give a speech at Hamitamaka Park today. <laughs> nice. This time we'll corner him and make him take us to the young master. <laughs> uh, good luck. Well, since I'm already here, I think I'm gonna increase the bond level of my characters. I think that's a good idea. Well, let's just get in the car and roll over to Hamatika Park when you're ready. Good, good point. But first, Survivor Bar. So, let's start with you. Mm -hmm. Hello, Kasuga-san. <laughs> I must say this place is quite comfortable. Yeah, ain't it? Also, seriously, man, how's a guy make drinking alone look so cool? I guess it's easy when you're as handsome as you. <laughs> That's kind of you to say. Why don't you let me buy you a drink? Yo, for real? <laughs> hey, now you're speaking my language, man! You mm. certainly are a mysterious one, Kasuga-san. Sunghui speaks highly of you as well. I dare say it makes me jealous. Oh, come on. Uh, speaking of, have you been with her long? You've got this butler and lady of the house thing going on. It's only been three years since I was brought into the Komijul. I can't say it's been long. No shit. Up until then, I was with a group called the Jingon Mafia. I was their leader's body double. Body double? You mean like a decoy? Just like the real thing? Indeed. If my master was ever targeted by our enemies, I was to be killed in his place. That was my duty. I didn't figure people still did that kind of stuff. Uh, wait, does that mean your face is... An imitation, yes. What you see is a result of large-scale plastic surgery. But I'll have you know my previous face was rather handsome as well. A shame not a single picture of it exists anymore. Really? Out the window then, huh? In a manner of speaking, yes. So that means Junki Han isn't your real name either, right? What's your real name then? <laughs> Surely we're not that close yet, are we? Come on. First step in becoming friends is calling each other by name, right? Hmm. Well, isn't this awkward? I'm afraid I'm the type to want a bit more distance with people. That how it was with the Jingon Mafia? 
From the name, I'm guessing it was some sort of Korean Yakuza-like thing. Weren't you once a member of the Tojo clan, Kasuga-san? I'm surprised you've never heard of the Jingon Mafia. I was in the clink for a long time. The Jingon Mafia and the Tojo clan clashed in the 1980s, long before you were serving time. The 80s? Dude, that's 40 years ago. I was just a baby back then. Doubt I even had hair. Yes, I had yet to be born myself. Regardless, early in the decade, the Tojo clan attacked the Jingon Mafia and massacred a great number of them. Around 30 or so. 30? Back then, Kamurucho was the most sought-after territory in all of Asia. I've heard the conflicts for control were rather intense. The Tojo clan was incredibly strong. And they made sure it was a well-known fact. Still, to all 30 of them is... To get their revenge, the Jingon Mafia main arm in Korea sent even more members to Japan. Some of them as undercover agents. But deception is a tricky business. And all who could not strike at the heart of the Tojo clan were considered failures and forbidden from returning. In the end, those that couldn't carry out the mission were abandoned and left without any place to go. One of them happened to be my father. Then you were born here, in Japan. Yes, but be that as it may, I don't recall being welcomed here. I wasn't even accepted by any Korean communities either. My family was treated like slime and kicked out from wherever we went. We came to be called the Stray Jingon Mafia, running away whenever we were discovered. Slimes who run away, huh? You're worth too much experience. You're slimes who run away. The reason they chase you is because you're worth tons of experience. <laughs> I get it. You're into video games, aren't you, Kazuga? Yeah, I played a lot as a kid. Well, you might be surprised to learn I am too. We should talk shop sometime. Hell yeah! So, what happened to the straight Jingon after nice. that? Nice, level 5 charisma. Hmm. Enter the 21st century. The winter of 2006. Around the time I turned 20, the Jingon Mafia from the mainland made an all-out assault against the Tojo clan. But even as that happened, the stray Jingon Mafia received not a word of warning. We were left completely in the dark. Our fathers were entirely forgotten by the countrymen that sent them here. You don't say. I might know a guy who could sympathize with that. Oh? Yeah. He's right in front of you. <laughs> I got tossed out by my family and locked up for 18 years. Oh, <laughs> that's right. That must be why I can't bring myself to hate you, Kasuga-san. So, what happened to the Jingon's big all-out attack? Despite their careful planning, they were ultimately crushed by the Tojo clan. Ironically, those that survived came from all over to join those of us in the stray Jingon Mafia. <laughs> It was a miserable sight. Both sides cut off from home and left with no choice but to band together in the social sewer of a country that wasn't theirs. Sounds like you struggled. I wouldn't know it from looking at you, though. I could say the same to you. Yeah, finally starting to warm up to me? It would seem so. I haven't been acting much like myself today. I had a great time drinking with you, Kasuga-san. I truly mean that. So whatever happened to the real Junki Han? What's he up to now? He revived the Jingon Mafia roughly three years ago, and at that time had taken over a considerable portion of Kamurocho. But he was shot in the head and killed. I was absent at the time. And it all came crashing down, huh? Hmm? Wait, then that means... Can't you use your real name now? Why keep up the body double thing? Ah. <sighs> You're, uh, you're not trying to become the real Jungi Han, are you? Ah, uh, who can say? But that's none of your concern, is it, Kasuga-san? Or am I wrong? Nah, uh, you got me there. <laughs> Farewell. 
I guess he's not the type to open up so easily. <laughs> I'll just have to keep drinking with him. All right. New bond level unlocked. Cool. Well, I can worry about the other people uh, a different time. Right now, let's continue.